All right, hey guys, it's Kim here, and uh, I don't know if you're aware, but the big science fair is coming up next Saturday, the 22nd at the uh, college. It's going to be tremendous. Last year, we had some of the uh, science folks in, and we did an experiment in the studio, and it was mayhem. There was stuff all over the place and all over the equipment, and it was kind of messy, and we got in a huge amount of trouble for it. This time, we're being smart about it, aren't we, Mike? We are. Mike's my assistant. We've got some science ready to go here, and then we'll tell you more about the big event. So what are we going to do first? Okay, we're going to do two experiments here. The first is we're going to compare the reaction of pop rocks and soda. So this is a physical reaction. We've got some pop rocks here. And what these actually are, you can see as we grind them up, they'll actually pop out of the bowl. These are under pressure. So we can actually see they'll jump and they're filled with carbon dioxide under pressure. What should happen is when we lower these into the pop, they'll melt, it'll release the carbon dioxide. Everything will come up and uh, it'll also trigger the carbon dioxide in the, in the pop. As a comparison, we've also got the traditional baking soda and vinegar reaction here, which is chemical. So what we're going to do is we're going to essentially tilt both these balloons up, and we're going to see which gives us the bigger reaction. Nice. The physical reaction or the chemical reaction. All right, we're going to blow stuff up here. Let's do this. Okay, so just grab onto the base of your balloon, and we can actually just uh, tilt it up and drop it in whenever we're ready. Okay. Any mark, get set, go. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we'll see the balloons are filling up. On your up. mark, get set, go. Is it dropping in? Just give it a jiggle there. Oh, I got some balloon envy going on. So, as we can see... Come on, go girl, go, go, go. Oh, I'm catching up. <laughs> see, mine's all limp. Look at that. That's no fun. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you've got some escaping. No oh, fair. Oh, no. All right. You so, got me as we one. can see, in this case, the chemical reaction of the baking soda and vinegar uh, released much more gas than the physical reaction of the pop rocks. Uh, although we did certainly get a reaction there. Ain't the first time that's happened. That's right. <laughs> now the other interesting thing, we can tell this is carbon dioxide gas, and one way we can do that and prove that this is carbon dioxide is, if we take this balloon off, and I'm just going to drain a little bit of the liquid, but now we're just left with basically some gas. Oh, we're going to light it up. And we can actually use carbon dioxide gas. We're going to put it in here, it's heavier than air, and it's going to sit in there. So if I swallow this, will this make my voice all weird? Uh, no, but it might kill you, because it's, oh, okay. it's not breathable, so <laughs> okay. don't do that. I'm, now, not, I'm not covered for that. <laughs> now what's interesting is, there is some liquid here, which is the, the vinegar and baking soda, but there's also, on top of this, there should be a layer of carbon dioxide. What? And we can pour this just like a liquid, and... Well, well, it's a little, we got a little too much gas in there, but what will normally happen is this will actually put out the fire as well. So if you do this at home and you get a little less uh, liquid in, uh, in there, you'll see that the, the carbon dioxide itself, even outside of the liquid, will put that out too. Now, we do have one other experiment to do too. Okay, which one's that? Okay, this is the classic Mentos and Diet Coke. Uh-oh, okay, so I've heard of this. This is a physical reaction too. What's going to happen here? is we are going to pull this string and the Mentos, which are loaded into this tube, are going to drop into the Diet Coke. And there's actually some debate about why this works, um, but the most commonly held opinion is that there's little dimples on the Mentos that you can't see. It gives a spot for the carbon dioxide, which has been pumped in there to latch onto. There's gonna be a huge physical reaction and if everything works, this rocket should fly up and we should get a geyser of Diet Coke. I don't have my helmet. But I got my trusty lab coat. All right. You want to do okay. it or should I? You go ahead. All right. Back up when you do it. Okay. It's going to be a little messy. Everyone, let's get a three, two, one. Three, three two, 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 one. one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's why we didn't do it in the studio. There you go. Nice. All right. So, hey, the big science fair. Step up here. The big science fair is coming up uh, on Saturday the 22nd, starting at 9 o'clock. Give me maybe a couple of things we'll see there. Uh, we're going to see some great experiments by kids through grades uh, 4 through 12. Uh, we're going to have a lot of different categories, probably some demonstrations, uh, some outside companies. So uh, for any kids who are interested, if they go to praxismedhat.com and follow the links to Science Fair, it'll take them through registration, all the times, all the information they need. And if they have any questions, uh, they can uh, call Praxis. Get it all done for you. And we'll see you there on a Saturday the 22nd. Thanks a lot, Mike. Absolutely. Thank you, Kim.